The election's most contentious issue was also the last to be decided, Proposition B. San Antonio voters rejecting the measure by less than 4,000 votes, giving the city's police union a major victory in the process. Dylan Collier was there as officers and their families celebrated the win. Union President Danny Diaz taking a cautious approach, waiting until almost 1130 to claim victory, even after it had become clear that the no's would take it. If the ballot measure had passed, officers would have been stripped of their ability to collective bargain, a scenario that Diaz said would have had devastating consequences for the department. My goal is to let the citizens see that we're getting back into the community. Uh, it's going to take some time. Fix SAPD, the grassroots reform group, came oh so close. Its members still in a celebratory mood despite trailing the entire night and eventually falling short. San Antonio is hungry for change. They have awoken. They see that accountability has been a barrier. They see that the union, the police union, has been the, the primary roadblock to fixing these, these disciplinary issues for decades now. Now, with the proposition taken down, Diaz says they'll return their focus to contract talks with the city negotiating team. We're not stepping away. Uh, we're, we're set the meeting date up. Uh, we'll make uh, all the arrangements that we need to, and we'll be there. And uh, we just ask that they come to work just like, like we are, ready to go. Current contract expires at the end of September and could extend an additional eight years as part of an evergreen clause. Reporting on the West Side, Dylan Collier, KSAT 12 News.